Hey YouTube, Boba7772 here, and today we are going to be reviewing the new Star Wars The Black Series action figure of Clone Commander Wolf A. So without further ado, let's get started. So this figure is in the new Black Series box. Um, it's a really cool kind of uh, tie pilot on the, on the back of the box. And he is number 12. We see this really cool picture of him right here. It's in his uh, sand trooper gear uniform. We can see the figure in the box right here. He comes with two pistols and a backpack. He is in the realistic style. If we move to the back of the box, there's an image of Wolfe and one of his troopers. All the, you know, information down there. And then up here it says Star Wars number 12, Clone Commander Wolfe. And then it says... Leader of the Wolf Pack Squadron, this clone commander wears specialized desert gear on a mission to the sand-swept moon of Obadiah to find a missing Jedi shuttle. So, uh, yeah, this figure looks awesome. I'm going to take him out of the packaging and let's see what he's made of. Really quick, I would like to note that there is tape that is holding this together. You can see it a little bit. Um, it tore off whenever I um, started opening it. It just kind of like ripped in half. But um, yeah, they are holding it up with tape still to show that the box is still uh, not too great. All right, here's the figure out of packaging, and he looks awesome, at least in my eyes. Um, so I'll go over the articulation of this figure first. Let's get that packaging out of the way here. He has a ball jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees. His shoulders rotate around 360 degrees and move outward. His elbows bend up and rotate around 360 degrees. His wrists rotate around 360 degrees. The pistol came out there, but um, they do rotate around 360 degrees. Just gonna put that back in real quick. Um, his waist rotates around 360 degrees. His legs will bend forward and backwards. This is a little bit restricted by his um, little pauldron thing here, but it's really not too bad. Um, his knees bend backwards and rotate around uh, 360 degrees. And last but not least, he has ankle articulation that rotates around 360 degrees and bends downward, like that. So um, this is an amazing figure. The articulation is great. Um, however, with the articulation, a couple of the joints, uh, mostly the uh, neck joint and the, uh, or the articulation in his neck and the articulation in his waist feel a little bit loose. It might just be my figure, but um, that is a problem that I do not like because I'm scared that his helmet's just going to pop off one day and going to uh, become lost. But... Um, other than that, I mean, the articulation is really good. The detail on this figure is great. Um, if I could have uh, had them add one little thing, I would have had him have a removable helmet because I think that, first of all, it would have been awesome to see Wolfe's face uh, realistically. Uh, I guess just taking a clone trooper and putting a scar over his eye and taking out an eye and everything. Um, but yeah, that would have been cool. We can see the Wolfpack Squadron uh, logo uh, thing, emblem, on his shoulder right there. It is also on this shoulder, uh, a different one though. You can see that the main paint applications are kind of this grayish blue color and white, though on the helmet there's a little bit of orange here, a little bit of red there, uh, some darker bluish gray. Uh, this little backpack thing that he has, um, has, you can see, uh, how they sculpted it. It looks really nice. Uh, the little tubing up there is a nice little touch, and there's a little, little bitty, uh, indent in there. Uh, I really like just, uh, how it's all completely white, except for the red and blue, which, um, I think looks fine. Uh, another one of my favorite parts of this figure is that they actually have a cloth, uh, type uh, skirt thing for him. I know it's not a skirt, but I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Um, and it's a really nice little design. 
uh, matches how we looked in the episode and it was just really cool I'm actually really surprised that we were able to get this uh, figure because I know that Wolf is uh, pretty or uh, he's a pretty main character but um, I would have figured that if we were going to get a realistic Wolf a, we would have gotten like his phase one or phase two armor uh, realistically and not his desert gear um, even though I know that obviously we had his phase one and two uh, armor from the animated style uh, but he still looks really good. I mean, I really like this figure. A lot of people say that he's really short, but I'm just going to compare him to uh, a couple of figures really quick, like Commander Cody Ahsoka. Um, and I don't think that he's really that short. So... Here you can see the height uh, difference between the two. Uh, Cody, as you can see, is a little bit taller, but really not by much. Uh, I'm going to put his pistols in his holsters as well, because I haven't put those in yet, and it will be really cool to see how they fit. Um, but all in all, this is like a really good figure. I'm going to set him up next to Ahsoka here. Um, it'd be great if they uh, release, and I know that they've done this recently, but um, if they released a new uh, like super articulated, super awesomely detailed Black Series Plo Koon, uh, to go with him, maybe from the uh, same episode to where he was uh, wearing all that. I think that'd be pretty awesome. Um, and yeah, he, he's a really great figure. I really highly recommend picking him up. Uh, there's really no flaws on him. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5 because um, really the articulation is wonderful. The detailing on him is superb. He's just all around a great figure that um, I would highly recommend buying. Um, also with his wrist, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, they have this little uh, swivel joint on them to where they can swivel back and forth uh, on this hand and then I believe this hand is the same, yeah. Because um, sometimes they have it like one hand up and down and one hand side to side, but on this Wolf A, they are, uh, both hands are side to side and it looks really good. Um, so this is a really nice figure. I'm really glad I picked him up. I got him at Target for a very, very high price of like... $13.99 plus tax or something. It's uh, a little bit outrageous, but uh, I'm cutting down on the amount of Star Wars figures I'm getting because of the price hike. Um, all in all, still a really good figure. If you're on the edge about getting this figure, I would recommend picking him up because he's really neat. But that's pretty much it for my review. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe for more uh, reviews. And until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye.